you brought that up, the inner and outer diameter. I, that's sometimes when I'm measuring things on IVIS and, and uh, in a peripheral intervention, I mean, what do you use as your diameter? I mean, if you measure the inner compare and take a measurement from the outer wall, outer to outer, inner, inner, it can change your, your measurement by a millimeter or two. Um, and so what do you use regularly when you're, when you're measuring? So I think similar to what, uh, you know, our coronary interventionalists look at the reference uh, vessel. So looking both distal and proximally. Now, again, uh, we don't have the specialized devices that go uh, between millimeters, you know, 3.5 or yeah. uh, 2.75. But looking at those reference diameters and making the decision, you know, where I'm going to land, again, my definitive therapy, whether it's, uh, you know, drug-coated balloon angioplasty or uh, scaffolding uh, based on those findings. So that's what I, I tend to use. Got it. Uh, the big reason, you know, for that, obviously, with positive and, vessel, uh, positive and negative vessel remodeling, uh, you know, that can change, again, like you mentioned, up to two and three millimeters in uh, vessel diameter, and what you, you know, what you should be treating, what you shouldn't. Uh, so that's certainly an important, uh, you know, important aspect to keep in mind. Yeah. Are you keeping, you know, your sizing, are you pretty much one-to-one? I mean, um, uh, you're keeping that angioplasty or stent uh, almost exact size as you can. What, what if you get something that's like 5.3 millimeters, then do you oversize by a millimeter? Do you undersize? Um, and what have you seen when you've done both? Yeah, so that's a that's a, a great question and obviously a very, a, a tricky question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, you know, when you're in between, uh, you know, the most important thing, a lot of people uh, lose, uh, you lose sight of this. When you're treating it with drug-coated balloon, drug coated balloon angioplasty, you want to have contact of that, uh, the vessel or the uh, angioplasty balloon with the intima. So if you look at true lesion, you know, you may only have a lumen that's 1.5 millimeters in diameter. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's important that you, you choose a, uh, a device that's going to be, you know, that size or greater. Now, obviously a four or five millimeter balloon is going to be just fine, uh, for the appropriate, uh, length of balloon, uh, angioplasty. You know, the most important aspect though is what comes after that, you know, as far as your, again, kind of definitive therapy. So then, you know, depending on the, the vessel diameter, I would, uh, upsize to probably a larger balloon. Uh, and then treat those, uh, the areas that don't, uh, that tend to have recoil with a shorter uh, angioplasty balloon. 